It comes with a practice sheet. I'm not gonna use the practice sheet. <laughs> I thought we could do something super fun in today's <laughs> vlog. So I'm gonna try out airbrush makeup for the first time. So I got sent this one called Aeroblend. I'll link them down below, but it looks really fun. I've never done airbrush makeup. I was watching a couple tutorials. So it seems really fun. So it's got like kind of some good ingredients in them. It has jojoba oil, avocado, white tea extract, mineral-based pigments, lavender, kaolin, no silicones, fragrances, parabens, or oil. So I watched a little video on how to set it up. It came with like a little QR scanner. So like you actually set it up properly. But it's this little machine. Then the airbrush. Ooh, this is so much fun. Okay, lever, push down and pull back to spray. Then that's this little nugget right here. You can kind of push back. And then the drops go in here. And it came with like a bunch of different foundation shades. And then it also comes with like blushes and bronzers. If you buy like the kit, your makeup will spray from this end. Power button, there's pressure levels. Oh, and then you can put your little uh, brush here. Oh, <laughs> this attaches to it, silly goose. Oh, that is so convenient. This feels like my old days, like trying new makeup. Ugh, trying new things. Practice before you start. It comes with a practice sheet. I'm not gonna use the practice sheet. <laughs> All right, shake well. Five to seven drops of the Aero Blend foundation. Spray in a circular pattern four to five inches from your face. Start it in sheer layers and then determine if you need more. So you can start with like a light coverage, build it up. For blemishes, go about an inch away from the little spots you wanna color. Oh, I'm so excited. Okay, we're just gonna go for it. And it also has like a little sheet for what the foundations look like. I'm pretty tan right now. I'm like actually super tan, which is weird. I'm gonna go for N40. Actually, yeah, let's do 35. 35 looks promising. All right, so we're gonna shake it. We're winging it, honey, we're winging it. Okay. Oh, I'm so excited. All right, let's see. So five to seven drops. Do I turn it on first? Should I turn the machine on? I, I don't think it matters if I turn the machine on first. All right, I want good coverage, so I'm gonna do seven drops. Hopefully it's the right shade. All right, I'm gonna turn it on. It's vibrating. <laughs> it's my house and I live here. All right, so I just have it on w one first. Ooh! Okay, coverage. Oh my God, okay. I'm so excited. This is so much fun. Because I have like a lot of hyperpigmentation, I'm like kind of going close. I should probably stay back. <laughs> okay, what do we think of the color? Oh, circles. <laughs> I just got like too hyped. <laughs> It's already time for more foundation. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna like blend it with my finger for a second because I think I was getting like a little too concentrated. The first few times, it's, I mean like this is my first time ever doing this. So, so it does say like, you know, start with one layer and it is, God, it's really cool. And then we can always like go in and add another layer, but I don't want to get like too concentrated because that's when it can start to look a little like clumpy. But it is kind of cool, like the way it disperses, like it's so subtle. Like it's just slowly adding coverage to my face. I get too excited and then I like go too close to my face and I forget to keep doing circles. <laughs> and let's try to like build some coverage. Oh wow. 
Look at where I added more coverage. That is freaking gorgeous. Okay, I kind of get the hype. See, I went a little too close and now it's like kind of chunky. You cannot get too close. I get too excited and I'm just like coming closer and closer, but like you gotta stay the four to five inches back. I mean, it's going pretty well for like my first time. It's so crazy. Like you don't even see the product coming out. Like you just feel like air hitting your face. I'm gonna get my jawline. I'm gonna blend it down the neck. You guys, this actually looks really beautiful. I am like low-key curious how much coverage we can get. I truly feel like the first one felt light coverage. This feels medium and I want to see if we can get to full because I can still see a little bit of my hyperpigmentation. Um, but I, I really like how you can build it. So let's go for one, one last round. Yeah, they want you, I think to stay working in circles so you don't get like the clumpiness you know if you stay in one spot for too long or you get too close that's when it can get a little chunky so it's just a learning curve but like once you have it down okay what do we think i think it looks really good let me kind of get an up close look wow it's kind of crazy that like you don't have to use a beauty blender or a brush like it just disperses onto the skin so beautifully. Okay. Now I like 100% have no faith in myself for like contouring or using blush. I don't know, I'm nervous. I kind of want, like just cause we're here and it's Vlogmas in July. I do like kind of want to see if I can contour and highlight and do the blush and all that jazz. So I think I'll just use a deeper shade for my contour, a lighter shade. Oh, we got an airbrush cleaner in here as well. Um, and then they have some really, really like gorgeous blush colors. Oh my God, like that, whew, stunning. All right, so I'm gonna go up to shade 20 for my highlight slash concealer. I don't know how, I don't know how this is gonna go. I only did a few drops because I don't have like a lot that I want to do. Alright. <laughs> I don't know. That kind of worked. Like, is it okay if I, like, quickly sponge it out? <laughs> or does that just, like, totally defeat the purpose? Oh, it kind of pulled it off. Okay, no sponge. No sponge. No sponge. I feel like maybe you guys will have some tips for me, too. Since I'm a noob. I'm a newbie. I feel like this is probably not made for doing like highlighting and contouring. Actually, you know what? I'm sure it is, but I'm just not a pro. This is, this did not, this part didn't go well. This is my own issue though. I got a little cocky. I got a little cocky. You know what? I think if I was to do this again, I would put on normal concealer first, then airbrush. I think the contour and blush will be easier, but like, I don't know. I think it's just a little too difficult when it comes to like, under eye concealer because like how do you possibly like really get down there send tips send tips because i really like the way the foundation looked i just need to do some research on the whole on the whole concealer sitch okay so full transparency i just redid it <laughs> i took it off because the concealer was just like totally messing it up but um, the second time doing it was so much easier i think it's really the first time so i also like read some tips it's all about keeping the stylus straight and then like about four fingers apart and like staying in circles and making sure this stays straight really really helps and then I also kind of discovered you can pull this back when you pull it back further it gives you like more power more coverage and I didn't have to apply multiple layers at all so like I got like this looks flawless like this is crazy I need eyebrow gel <laughs> I don't know why that's like giving me anxiety i can see why people like do this for weddings and stuff because it really does just like give you that flawless look i feel like you don't even need setting powder the way it just sits i did watch a tutorial on the concealer but i i don't want to have to redo my makeup again so i am just gonna do i'm gonna attempt to do a little contouring you know and a little blush all right i'm gonna put on the lowest setting <laughs> keep my stylist straight I see it happening. What do you guys think? Oh, it's so natural looking. Oh my god. 
This is nice. It's just giving me like a little bit of a natural bronzy glow without being like too much. All right, I'm gonna try to go in with some blush. Oh, there's so many pretty ones. I'm gonna do this one. This one's called Daydreaming. It's such a pretty kind of mauve. All right, ready? It's coming off like a little darker than I thought. A little like more of like a nudie blush. I can definitely like see it, but I think I'm gonna add a different one. All right, peaches and cream might have been a little, a little light. Oh, I think it was like lighter than my skin tone. I am having a great time. I really am having fun. Yeah, I, ooh, that's pretty though. You can kind of see it on here. Yeah, it's just, I would only use this in like the winter. It's too, too light for me right now. So I kind of just spray out the excess until it's gone. All right, let's add another blush. This one's kind of purpley. Ooh. I should stop playing. I'm going to look crazy soon. <laughs> I'm going to look a little cuckoo in a second. So a lot of trial and error today, but a lot of fun. So I feel like because I put on that light blush, it kind of messed me up. But my skin was insanely beautiful. Like insane. Like, let's just focus on my forehead because like we're kind of a hot mess everywhere else. And like it dries down. Like it's not wet like you don't need powder i wonder if they have like highlighter and stuff do they like have highlighters oh i wonder like actually i could probably put a powder highlighter on top because it dries down we're here let's try oh yeah oh, geez now i am kind of like intrigued can i put blush on top of this like it's gonna totally mess me up like does this work as a base can i put powder on top Looks like a yes. I'm gonna try to make this work for the day because like, I don't wanna redo my makeup. <laughs> like, I think if I take some bronzer on top, cause like this, tr guys, this dries down. It's kind of amazing. Like, I think I would totally do this for a base on the daily. And then I would just go in and like add stuff after. This looks so flawless. I'm gassed. I truly am. I am aghast. Okay, I do need to like brighten my under eyes. So I'm just going to take a light toned pressed powder. And I'm just going to add that under my eyes to give myself some, some brightness under here. Or act like a concealer to make up forever. Matte velvet. The coverage on this is just nuts. Oh my god, the way that the airbrush dries down. Once it dries down, yeah, you can like go in with powders. Again, I still have a lot of learning to do. It's okay, my battery had died, but we ended up coming together on this. Honestly, my overall thoughts, I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed with the way it laid down for a base. Like, it really does make your skin look airbrushed. Oh, wait, it is airbrushed. Yeah, my overall thoughts, I really like it. I feel like once you get into a groove with it, you can totally just look perfect. Like, I completely get it for the brides. What I really liked about it is once it's dried down, and it dries down pretty quickly and seamlessly, I didn't have to use any setting powder. Um, and I love that I could use powders afterwards. Like, once it was dried down, I was able to go in with a little powder bronzer it's basically like going in with your liquid foundations your cream bronzers cream blushes and then once it dries down you can go in with powders like going in with a little bit of powder bronzer blush highlight whatever but you don't have to set which is great because i feel like i'm always loading on translucent powder after i use a liquid or cream foundation and this is just my experience this could all be wrong i don't know i feel like makeup really doesn't have rules but i'm sure there's a lot i could learn about this there's a lot i do not know um this is just my experience but again please leave your tips down below um but overall i think my skin looks stunning and i'm really excited to see how it wears today so i'll report back later and let you guys know because i didn't use primer i didn't use uh powder i didn't use setting spray at all so um, the biggest thing is it's a hot day. I'm gonna go run some errands and I'm just gonna like wear my makeup throughout the day and I will report back in several hours and we'll see how it wears. Many hours later. Okay, you guys, I am taking my makeup off with the cleanser with like um this oil that I always use. Um, the balm from Versed. And then I realized, girl, you never filmed an update. Okay, so I wish I had remembered to film it. So I'm sorry, but you'll definitely see me wearing it like a lot more now. But I will be honest in the way it wore. It wore 
beautifully. Like, so good. Surprisingly, it's really hot out when I was running errands, and surprisingly, it didn't like melt off. Like, even when I got sweaty, of course, I got a little shiny from the sweat naturally. It didn't like come off or get cakey or clumpy or separate. Like, honestly, I'm so impressed, especially for not setting it with powder. Like, how? I'm gonna keep playing with it and like trying to get better with it, you know? Because I'm still new, but for the first day and how well it wore, so impressed. It's actually getting late. It's my time to make dinner soon. So um, I think I'm gonna make my buffalo chicken dip tonight and show you guys how I make it. Okay, you guys, the time has come. I'm going to make my buffalo chicken dip. I freaking love making this buffalo chicken dip. It's full of protein. It's delish. You can eat it with tortilla chips, cucumbers, peppers, carrots, celery. You can literally eat it with anything. It's very good. You can make a grilled cheese with it. So I'm gonna show you guys my recipe. All right, I'm gonna turn on the oven to preheat at 350 and I'm gonna make it in one of my favorite little Pyrex containers because I can put the cover on and eat it for a few days. Okay, so if you wanna be a lazy gal like me, you can buy the pre-shredded chicken or you can buy a rotisserie chicken and shred that or you can make your own shredded chicken. Then I have some light laughing cow cheese. This is a great substitute for cream cheese. We have some plain non-fat Greek yogurt, ranch dip seasoning mix, get your favorite cheese shredded your favorite hot sauce or buffalo sauce and we've got light ranch and blue cheese one thing though is i would typically also throw in some blue cheese crumbles but they didn't have any when i went to the grocery store all right so we're gonna throw in our shredded chicken and if you're gonna make enough for like a party i'd probably double this recipe i love these little laughing cow cheeses like they're so yummy so i'm gonna throw in four of these tiny little triangles but the good thing is there's eight in here so like i said if you're gonna make enough for like a party you can do the whole thing now typically how i would make like a high protein ranch dip is with plain non-fat greek yogurt and some ranch dip powder mix you can add as little or as much as you want just in terms of like flavor actually i might not even use my ranch dressing <laughs> i don't know why i grabbed that i'll throw in a little blue cheese but this should cover the ranch so i'm gonna add about half of this pack and I'm gonna add just this little container. And I'm probably gonna add about a quarter cup of buffalo sauce. And now you can throw in your favorite cheese, blue cheese crumbles, whatever floats your boat. Don't do too much cheese because you are gonna put some on top before you bake it. I mean, you could put as, much, put as much cheese as your heart desires, honey. And then I'm gonna do, since I don't have blue cheese crumbles, I'm gonna do a sprinkle of blue cheese dressing. It's like a, a little bloop, like that. Some people are ranch people, and some people are blue cheese people. I'm also gonna add a little salt and pepper. And I'm gonna be honest, I kinda just like wing this every time. <laughs> Cause the good thing is, like it's one of those things you can eat raw before you bake it. So you can really test it, like does it need more ranch? Does it need to be creamier? Does it need to be spicier, saltier? You know, you can kind of Play around with it. You can always add more, but you can't take it out. So if you're unsure, just start with less and add more later. All right, I'm just gonna take one little bite. Mmm, it's really good. I don't think I want to add anything. Yeah, it's bomb.com. All right, so now grab your container, do a splash of avocado oil. We don't even need that, but you know, why not? Spread it into your container. Sprinkle a little more cheese on top to get it nice and melty. Top it off with a little parsley for some color. The parsley just makes me feel fancy. <laughs> All right, now we're gonna cover it with a little aluminum foil. This is so quick, you guys. And this is a hit at every party. Like, everyone loves a good buffalo dip. And I'm gonna bake this for about 20, 30 minutes on 350. And then if you wanna take this off at the end to like really crisp up the cheese on top, you can always broil for like 10, 15 seconds. But it's super simple. You guys, look how yummy this looks. <laughs> so good. 
so good and i know it's kind of weird i don't think i actually see people eat it with cucumbers but i think it's really good <laughs> a crunchy cucumber with this is delish so i'm gonna scoop a little bit put it on a plate and i'm gonna go chill and watch some 90 day fiance <laughs> while i eat it like usual and i'll let it cool and i'll put the lid on and yeah this will last you a few days it's really easy and really delicious and it's gonna keep you super full